to policy. You made 10 policy pledges for this campaign. Let's see how watertight they are. Can you guarantee that under your leadership, the 2019 Labour commitments to nationalise water, energy, rail, the Royal Mail, they'll all be in Labour's next election manifesto? I've made that commitment. Um, the pledges I've made indicate the direction of travel, but I am well aware that there's a huge amount of work that needs to be done between now and 2024, because that 2024 manifesto has to reflect mm. the state of the nation in 2024 right. uh, and face the late 20s. And things change. 20... I understand, well, I understand a lot that. Of things and I will don't change. want you... I'm not considering asking the, the... you to write the manifesto, but those four industries will be in the Labour manifesto for nationalisation come 2024? They will. They're baseline um, indicators of where we're going. I think that we'll need oh, to think about how indicator. we do it. Well, they will be. They, they are. What I'm saying to the members here is we need to build the case from where we are now to 2024. Lots of things are going to change between now and 2024. It's not unlikely that we'll be leaving the EU without a deal. We don't know what the state of the economy will be. Manufacturing could well make take a hit. So we're going to have to craft that 2024 manifesto looking forward. My pledges are an indication to our members as to what I think is important, the direction of travel and what we will Keep, build Keep on. Stammer, a pledge is not an indication. A pledge is a word, is your word. It's a pledge. I'm not disputing that. I don't have any problem. So is that. it a pledge that these industries will be in your manifesto for nationalisation? Yes, it is. The point I'm making to you is the manifesto will have to have a lot more than that. Of in. course, this I understand. It's not a manifesto. That. Well, what this about university position. tuition fees then? Will you remain committed to scrapping them in They're your first term? They're all pledges, Andrew. So the answer to these questions is yes. Let's it, it, return in that, in that case, if we may, to the current crisis, which is an energy and fuel crisis, £300 on average fuel bills this winter yes. and so on. Will you nationalise the big six energy companies? Well, the immediate problem with the energy companies is how we ensure the supply of energy um, through the winter um, and into next year. And to do right. that without raising the prices for working people. So that's because an, that, that is an immediate price. issue. That but, is the immediate principle. But I'm asking you a big principled question. Will you nationalise the big six energy companies, yes or no? No. No, you will not. This is what you said as part of your ten pledges. Public services should be in public hands, not making profits for shareholders. Support common ownership of rail, mail, energy and winter. You, you promised that 18 months ago and now you're saying no. Why? But I don't see nationalisation there. There is well, a what, huge... What, what, else, does, a what else does public difference. hands mean? There's a world... Of, well, well, public services should be in public hands. But when it comes to something like energy, we've got an immediate problem in the next few months that we've got to solve. And then when it comes to yeah. common ownership, I'm pragmatic about this. I do not agree with the argument that says um, we must be ideological. Look what so, happened. So, what does common ownership mean if it doesn't mean nationalisation? Look what happened. A pledge is not an indication. A pledge is a word. Is your word? It's a pledge. I'm not disputing that. I don't have any problem. So, is that. it a pledge that these industries will be in your manifesto for nationalisation? Yes, it is. The point I'm making to you is the manifesto will have to have a lot more than that. Of in. course, this I understand. It's not a manifesto. That. Well, what about university position. tuition fees then? Will you remain committed to scrapping them in They're your first term? They're all pledges, Andrew. So the answer to these questions is yes. So university but, tuition fees being scrapped will be in a Starmer manifesto? Yes, that's why it's a pledge. In the next election. Okay. Why then doesn't the Labour left trust you?